Good evening, everyone. This is Tina. How are you doing so far? Anyway, let's start. In this video, I'm gonna show you the bean scopes in the spring. And uh, let's start. There are six scopes in spring. The first one, which is the default one, is called a singleton. Mm, let me use in lowercase because that's a keyword you're gonna use in when we config. Okay, singleton. All of them are lowercase. Okay, singleton, which is the default one. This one is the default one. If you wrote a knot by default, is a singleton. What does singleton means? Singleton means you have a per instance per IOC container. Per instance per IOC container. We talked about IOC container before, right? IOC container, you can think it's the same as application context. Okay. Per instance, per application context. Let me give you uh, one um, example before we move on, okay? Suppose you have a spring dot xml file okay and in spring dot xml file you define a bin which is id is called the uh, uh, email service okay right and then you have a class right oh sorry sorry this one okay you have a class equals some package dot email service class okay uh, b okay and now in your Java class, you do like this way, application uh, context ctx1 equals new uh, class path XML application context spring dot XML, okay? And then we give another application context ctx2 equals new class path XML application context. I don't want to write all of them. XML. So in this case, in this application, you have uh, two different application context. Then we can say in this application, you have uh, two LC container, which is uh, not normally we do, but you can do like this way. And in this case, when using ctx bin, okay, ID is uh, email service, right? And if you're using ctx2 bin, and the email service, we are retrieving the same, okay, okay. So both of them will return your email service for you, right? But this instance, this instance are different. By default, if you don't give any scope, by default it's singleton. But the singleton means per IOC container. Okay, since here you have a two IOC container, two application context. When using different application context to retrieve the same employee service, you will get a different instance. That's what it means. Got it? Okay, so this is singleton, it's a default one, and it means per instance, per IOC container. Okay, the first one. Okay, you might have two. Okay, second one, prototype. Prototype means what? Per instance, per uh, bin uh, request, okay? Which means every time you request a bin like this one, see the account application context data get a bin, like uh, you want to retrieve email service, every time it will give you a new uh, instance. How to do that? You can use in the bin, you can define the ID, and you can define the class, okay? And you can give a scope. Scope where equals, you can use in the prototype. And uh, if you want to use in the annotation, like a Java classes, uh, you can do like this way. 
uh, scope. Then you give the value uh, prototype. Proto, oh sorry, sorry, something is wrong. Okay, prototype, prototype, yes. And this annotation can be applied in the configuration class along with the bin, or it can be applied on particular class when you're using the component or service. Okay, and uh, this is the tool which you used in all Spring applications. And we will talk about some of them which are not used in the Spring core. So they are used for the Spring uh, web applications. The third one is uh, request. Request means per instance, uh, per HTTP request. How to configure? Just change the scope. Just change spoke, spoke, uh, scope. Sorry, scope here to request or change the value in the annotation to be request. Okay, and uh, they have another one is a session. Probably you already know that. Per instance, per what thing? Uh, HTTP session. Okay, same thing. Just change the value to be session. And the fifth one is application. This one is a per instance, per, uh, in a Java-based application, it's uh, the application scope or attribute is not called application context, it is called the server-related context. Okay, so what's the difference between the application scope and the, the singleton? Okay, we talk about in, in one web application, Right, you only has one server context, but in one web application, you might have multiple application context. One application, you might have a multiple application context. Uh, this application context I'm referring to IOC, okay? The difference between application scope and the singleton. The singleton here, singleton here. Which means you only have one instance per servlet context. And also you can retrieve the instance or bin in the servlet context because it's gonna become an uh, attribute in the servlet context. But uh, for the singleton, one application you might have a multiple application context so the instance might be different but for application scope one instance one servlet context okay that's the difference and you also can have a web socket which means when you have web socket applications you're gonna have most of the time a web socket is a singleton okay but it live longer than individual uh, session okay and uh, the last one is uh, cust custom uh, scope. You can also customize your own scope, but for this case, you have to register, which means you have to do additional work, okay? But uh, I want to go very deep on the custom. Uh, if I have time, I will can have another video just to talk about uh, custom scope, okay? So in this video, we uh, talk about uh, bean scopes, there are six bin scopes by default in the spring, which is a singleton, prototype. Uh, there are several like a request, session, and application. All of them are used for web application. Okay, it's used in web application. Uh, that's it for this video. And uh, for next video, I'm gonna show you some hands-on experience on the singleton and the prototype. And if you are, if you still have doubts, you can look at my next video. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.